Hi guys, so I'm done applying the bleach on the second quadrant and now I'm just going back and you see how it lifted nicely because it's moist and now I'm going to go, like I said in the previous video, it's half an inch away from the scalp and up. So now, I, I'm, so now I'm, you know, detailing it and I'm actually pretty happy, you know, uh, that... I would probably say maybe 75 to 80% of the orange, uh, you know, the, the bleach cut through about 75 to 80% of the orange. So I'm just gonna, you know, make sure I didn't, I didn't miss any, anything right here. Do you see? Because, you know, I don't get the whole root trend, you know, I, I know it's, it's popular and you see that all in the magazines and, and everything and it's like no I like a seamless you know I love seamless blondes I just feel like you know either you go blonde or you go home you know and I've always was fascinated with blonde hair in fact I was recently blonde you know I made you know I bleached my own hair back in August and then also I was born blonde and so as so as a baby my hair was uh, was a ultra light ash blonde it was almost it was almost platinum actually so then my hair turned black when I was four and now it's and now you can see it's like like mostly gray but but every, you know it's like I've always uh, I've always loved blonde you know blonde hair it's always it always made 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 me very happy you know I just think it's bright it's colorful it's lively it's you know it's uh takes a special person to be blonde you know, and I, and I love, you know, you know, just the, this is a labor of love for me, you know, normally it's an all day event to go from brunette to, to like a super dark brunette to like a, to a bleach blonde. So this is a labor of love. So you can see, you know, she's, uh, this quadrant of hair right here, you know, the bleach hasn't been on that long and it's almost matching this side, you know, it's a, you see, so the goal is to get it to this level or lighter. And so now I'm starting at the back. And so just like we did uh, in, in the front and, you know, a lot of, there's a, it's an age old debate whether you start from the bottom to the top or the top to the bottom. I know that lots of people prefer the, the bottom to the top. So, Okay, so just like I did in the previous sections, and you know, let's see. And I just I like sectioning with my fingers. I know it's a I know it's a doll head, and I know that the doll head doesn't mind. So, okay, and you see, you see, I'm not taking like super super large chunks, right? Like you see that I'm taking little, like, little ones. Let me see, where did I put my clip? Let's see. Okay, there's my clip. So, make sure that, you know, it doesn't get into my working area. So, okay, we clip, we clipped her, and so you see that, you see that? And, you know, so let's just do a tradition, more traditionalist approach and go from the And like I said, you have to work rather quickly because once the bleach is, is mixed, let's see. You know, it's hilarious. You know, when I was at the beauty supply, I just got so giddy, like a kid in the candy store. And because of that, I forgot sectioning clips. Can you believe that? I got the bleaches. I got, I got everything, and, but I, I didn't get the sectioning clips. Because I was, I just got so excited. I was like a kid in a candy store. But you know, it's but you know, it's okay. You know, I've I've had my beauty license for over ten years, and so. So it, it's like I know the hair from the back of my. It, it's 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 like a roadmap. I look at the head of hair, and it's one of these days I really really have to do a, I really have to do like a a highlighting a highlighting video or something. 
I think that will be fun. Then I'm definitely not forgetting the sectioning clips. Maybe it's a blessing in disguise that it's a doll head, and you know, with doll heads, like, they normally, because they don't have the heat from the scalp, that, uh, you know, it takes a lot more work for them to reach platinum. Maybe it's a, maybe it's a blessing in disguise that if uh, we take her to, like, a medium blonde, because then I'll have something to work with, because once you go platinum, it's like it's all, you have to go, you have to level down from that point on, you know, it's like there's no more room, you know, when you bleach... When you bleach hair, the natural pigment is the pale yellow. If you bleach past that, then it's it, then it's not hair anymore. It's just it's it's just uh, so it becomes like chewing gum almost. So so maybe it's a good thing. Maybe it's like we could let, lighten her up to like maybe a level eight nine, and then we could play around and put some highlights. I'm already, I already thought about the color, and I've used the and I'm gonna do an ash blonde. And the thing about that, and it's not going to come out ashy because since she does have a little bit of the underlying orange pigment, what the ash is going to do, it's just going to cut the orange and it's going to leave me with a really nice, like warm golden blonde, which I was kind of going for initially. Um, my goal for her, for this, for, for my doll head is to make her, let me see. like, I would probably say like a Kelly Clarkson blonde, like remember Kelly Clarkson back in the day? And she had that gorgeous gold, golden blonde hair. Or like Reese Witherspoon. And she had that gorgeous pastel gold. Like that really nice soft gold. I, I've always loved like that really nice uh, soft gold blonde. And I think it's great for my mannequin. Because I checked my mannequin's eye color. And you could see. Uh oh the stand. <laughs> Do you see she has like hazel eyes? So she's definitely a warm. She's not a cool. <laughs> and so I think that the gold blonde is going to look great. I love, I love like gold blonde on hazel and brown eyes. Anyways, I know I'm talking too much, but I mean, this is a, you know, people, people say like to journal and I'm like, forget that. You know, I, for me, I would say that the two most uh, comforting and creative things for me is either... Is, is, of course, you know, doing hair. I love to color hair. I used to do my mother's hair, you know, when she was alive. May, you know, may she rest in peace. It's been 12 years since she's been gone, but and I miss her tremendously. And, uh, and the bodybuilding. So that's why I started this YouTube channel to kind of, like, come out of my shell. You know, not worry so much about people and what they think about me and their, and their strong opinions. And just, you know, and, and be me, be, be, and be Anthony and uh, claim my space in this world, you know? So, let's see. Okie dokie. Okay, so I'm gonna pause the video and I'm gonna mix some more bleach because she has thick hair and so I'm running out. Okay.